Hello guys, welcome to my channel where I make affinity fun and easy to learn. In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to create this flyer inside of Affinity Studio. Alright, if you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to click the subscribe button so that you don't miss any content I'll drop in anytime from now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is go to file and go to new like this and I'm going to use the size 4x5 inches resolution 300 and rgb8 click on create document and this is what i'm with it with the first thing i'm going to do is fill this up with my background color so how do i do that very simple come over to where you have this and select your rectangle too i'm just going to draw a rectangle like this that covers this canvas here you see and then of course i'm going to make sure i remove the outline Click on the color. I'm going to change the color to something greenish. And um, I'm going to move to a darker shade of the green. Just like this. And somewhere around here is good. So you can copy the color code. So we are using the same thing. Use my text and I'm going to type a few things. It's going to be cocktail. But I'm going to break it up. I'm going to use this font. This font is also part of the Smart Design Imperium assets. So this is going to be cocktail. I'm just going to expand this. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to type, use this to type party. So it's going to be party like this. Of course, I'm going to make this smaller to stay in the same frame like this. And um, at the end of the day, this is what I'm going to have. Go over to your rectangle to select your rectangle to draw a rectangle like this that covers the tail make sure you are beneath the text all right so i'm going to change the color so a lighter shade of this green all right and um, right click on it convert it to curves then go over to your node to hold down shift while you bring this inside to match like the position of this a duplicate this ctrl c ctrl v and you have this here i'm going to change the color to what i have here like this is like an orange color right i'm going to stick to this this is good so i'm going to go up and um, select flip horizontal i'm still going to flip it vertically let me just bring it outside go back there and flip vertically so flip horizontally and flip vertically make sure you don't miss that step now this is outside so what do we do select both points like this hold down shift while you move this inside to have this perfect blend of shapes behind the tail right so duplicate this and i'm going to type something else with this, this is going to be presents like this so i'm just going to reduce this and um, I think I'm good with this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up my arranging of texts or my text arrangement or my text formatting as the case may be. I'm going to type this here and I'm going to have um, spins and um, it's going to be simple. Move this upward, duplicate this. And um, I'm just going to type something here. So it's going to be DJ Lambo and I'm going to reduce the space in between like I've done in previous videos, right? But before then, I'm going to change the color of the text to this yellowish color. While I reduce the space in between. So select this and um, we can make our adjustment here. You can see I'm just clicking on this down arrow and um, that's all basically but most times when you get the arrangement of your text well right you you can be rest assured that the rest of your design would actually fall in place so with my pen tool i'm just going to my pencil tool i'm just going to draw this and of course i'm going to keep it to this image here to this um, DJ Lambo here. But I'm going to change the color first and um, try to remove the outline like this. So I'm left with just the color. 
I am just going to drag on this to get this effect. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's move on with the rest of the design. So I'm going to select this tool and um, this is going to be like my light effect. So I'm going to have this first image. I'm going to use the same color. I'm going to duplicate this. Ctrl J. Yeah. So for this one underneath, I'm going to go to light filters. I'm going to go to Gaussian blur and I'm going to add a blur effect to this. And I'm also going to Ctrl Z. Good. So I'm going to duplicate this one by pressing Ctrl J. And of course, it's only going to make it brighter. And I'm going to select screen for this. At the end of the day, I'm going to select the three of them and group them together. And I'm just going to um, make it smaller. And while I distribute it around the design itself, so I'm going to have one here. Rotate this. And I'm also going to have another one here. Sorry, Ctrl Z when you make a mistake. And uh, I'm going to have another one just around. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and uh, bring in this image here. Make sure you are on top of the background layer. It's going to cover the whole document. So you have to zoom out and uh, make it smaller like this. Right. But then you have a problem. The color is off. And of course, it's not blending well with the background. So the first thing you're going to do here is click on transparency and drag from black to white like this. And uh, click on HSL and um, make sure your hue shift is at 122. All right? Then you can close this up and um, make it a clipping mask. So just drag it on top of this to clip it directly on top of this. So the effect is only applied to this image. Easy peasy. Okay, so this is nice. This is good exactly how i want it so let's move on with this shall we so stay on top of the layers like this and let me group all of this together group them and i'm going to name this um text and um ctrl g group this i'm going to name this subtext and uh, I'm going to group the lights, three of them, Ctrl G, and I'm going to name this lights. I'm just doing all of this so that our layers can, um, we can have good layers. We don't have everything flying around and all of that. So this is going to be BG. You can see how it's perfectly arranged. So uh, for you not to move things around, you can also come around and lock them. Like you can see, I've locked the background. So if I click on it, nothing is going to move there all right so anything you don't want to move around you can also lock them okay so the next thing i'm going to do is select the this image here i'm going to make it bigger so this is more like the cocktail all right so what i'm going to do is Move it to the location where I want it to be. I'm going to blend it. So use your transparency to go from black to white. Let's blend this. Another thing I would like to do is I'm coming over to the background. I'm going to create a new layer here and I'm going to add, select the ellipse and I'm going to draw a shape like this.
right? This is the color code. What I'm going to do next is go to Live Filter, go to Gaussian Blur, and add Gaussian Blur to this. So increase the radius up until I think somewhere around here is good. Somewhere around here is nice. And uh, we're good to go. So you want to move this upward like this so that it just stays within the cocktail itself. I want to bring this inside so it doesn't feel like it's too much and extend this outside like this. Bring this inside. Just make sure it's perfect. Like this. Now go over to resource file and I um, want to bring in this image. So drag and drop basically, that's what we're doing. I will rotate this from the edge, come to the edge. When you see this arrow change, um, or from on top like this, rotate this and um, this is what you should have. Move this to this side and uh, make this bigger, slightly bigger like this. And also duplicate this. And of course, I'm going to have this here while I rotate this from the edge like this. And uh, I think this is good. I like the direction this is going. This is perfect. So I'm going to select it all of them and group them, Ctrl G to group them. And I'm going to select adjustment, select the curves, and I'm going to bring this down, but it's affecting the entire image and we don't want that, right? So I'm just going to drag this and keep it inside of the group so it can just affect just this image here. I'm going to go into light filters and I'm going to apply Gaussian blow to each of them. So for this one too, I'm going to do the same thing to Gaussian blow and apply the same live effects. But this one is going to be a little bit more than the first one and um, click out when you're done. So this is what you have. So a whole lot of things have gone down inside of this design. So let's quickly add some finishing touch to this design. So let me just rename this. Um, I'll just go and name this tree. It's simple like that. Nothing complicated. I'm going to move these lights down since I grouped all of them. I'm having it somewhere here and that is perfect. Okay, move this um, cocktail with the light at the background a little bit to the top so that you can have space in between your elements. It's very, very important when you're designing. All right, so um, I haven't done that. The next thing I want to do is click a new layer. I'm going to switch over to my Pixel Studio and I'm going to select my brush. Make sure your foreground color is set to this green and i'm going to paint on these areas like this and i'm going to change my blend mode to multiply to give it that dark look i'm going to reduce it a bit so it's not too much you can see i have a blended good contrast with the background the lights and of course the shadow on the leaf which we just created now all right guys this brings me to the end of this tutorial if you've enjoyed this video, do not click away without giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you like my content, don't click out without subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. With over 1,000 premium fonts, over 100 high-quality PSD flyer templates, over 700 icons, 
Over 3,000 premium stock photos, 3,000 plus high resolution backgrounds, 1,000 plus 3D and PNG assets, editable PSD templates, and lots more. If you're a creative designer, UI, UX, or web designer, the Smart Designer's graphics assets will make your life much more easier.